Hey everybody, Steven here. Got a, a quick little expose of my Minecraft world that I want to do before I get back to doing um, more tutorial videos. Because this is a lot more uh, relaxing. <laughs> I got kind of sidetracked uh, because I saw this incredible, incredible video that uh, my friend, the Xbox nut, put up on YouTube and I decided I had to do it. I've been planning something like this for a while. But this guy had a really elegant solution. And what we're looking at would be, it's called a seven segment display. You might be familiar with these. Uh, they're on calculator faces, uh, they're on digital watches, alarm clocks. It's basically um, exactly what it sounds like. It's a, a display made up of um, seven different segments where each segment forms the part of a, a letter or number. So you use a, uh, a small logic controller to tell it which segment to light up. So if it's the number one, the two right segments would line up. So what I did was, um, I have his design slightly expanded on it, and then I'm trying to enclose it so it looks good. So when there's more light, I'll show you that. But I'll go ahead and uh, show you what this thing does. So these are, right here, um, levers that will force a certain number to display on this. And so you would use this, like if you, if you, uh, you have a calculator in the game, and you don't want to have to figure out what uh, you know the sum is by adding up all the binary dots. You could throw the signal into this thing, and it would output the right number uh, in a, like a you know a decimal number. So, for example, this is my zero lever. So, if I go over and look, you see number zero, and it looks a lot like an alarm clock, doesn't it? And uh, so I'm trying to get yep, and there's the one, and so on. I'm trying to get the full um, hexadecimal set of numbers in here. So that's zero through nine, and then A through F. Those are the uh, numbers and letters that you see in computer science a lot. See, there's my two, and uh, this was really tedious. I didn't hack any materials in, if you can believe it. Um, of course, I'm down to my last uh, 85 redstone when I had over 5,000. <laughs> so, uh, this will show you, like, let's see. So, I've made it from 0 to 9, and then I just did the letter A, so I'll show you what that looks like. And this thing looks super awesome at night from far away. I made it so you can see it from any one of my bases. It looks incredible. And then what I did is I housed it in a, in a quarter sphere, like I was saying. So it ended up looking kind of like an iMac monitor. Uh, the, you know, the original ones that had, um, they had like the blue one and the red one. And it was a huge hit because you could pick your color. And it was an all-in-one. So the whole computer was in the monitor. And uh, I'll give you a quick little tour. So I have this maintenance store here. This on the inside, if you've watched the Xbox Notes video, and I really recommend you do that. These are all the, um, the scaffolds that get the uh, signals up to the to the displays, and uh, it's kind of a clusterfuck, if you will. But after much debugging, I was able to get it functioning like his. So then I run the lines out the bottom of the, the monitor, so to speak, and I'll, I'll show you what's going on back there. And it's pretty crazy, and it looks overwhelming, but it's really not that complicated. Uh, so I have this so that I can bury it with dirt and hide it when I'm done. But out here you see uh, what's called the decoder. So this is going to take the signals and interpret them to mean the actual numbers. So this is the zero line, and it's, uh, this decoder forces the number zero to display by um, activating the segments individually. And you can see down here, I labeled all the segments so I know which one is which. So I put an uh, alphabetical letter and then their uh, relative position, so like bottom middle. In computer science, that's called the D segment and so on. I have all these here, so I know um, these torches right here are telling the, let's see, so we have the bottom right to turn on, and the top right. It's going to be all of them except for the middle, right, because um, on the number zero on a calculator you don't display the very middle segment. So I have this for, you can see I have 11 rows right now for 0 through 9, and then the letter A, and I'm working on adding more. The problem is, I don't know if you noticed, but I decided to build this in the middle of the ocean here, so I keep having to, like, hollow out more and more of the water, which is a huge pain in the ass. And in retrospect, I really should have built this on land. <laughs> so then I have the wiring uh, to the decoders, so from the switches. Right now the switches are being, are what's powering this huge array of, um, of uh, repeaters and inverters that are pulling the signal all the way down to my decoder. And... Uh, it's really an ingenious design. I really like this decoder because it's not actually built up of gates so much. It's really more of a Minecraft exploit that allows you to put something in a smaller space than you would have if you were using logic gates. And uh, if that doesn't mean a whole lot to you, then don't worry about it. But it's pretty cool for me. 
And so my plan with this is to hook it up to um, several different functions. I want to have a calculator. I want to have uh, a timer. Um, not like a, a perfect clock, but you know, like a you know a good looking clock. But the nice thing about this is you can actually, if you you can either copy in like an editor, copy this a whole bunch of times, and you'd have you know a huge display, or you could keep remaking them, and then you'd have you know like a two or three digit display. But uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. If you're curious on how to do this, I suggest you watch the Xbox Xbox Nuts videos because he does a very good job of explaining, and he goes slow, and he also has a sweet accent, which is something I don't have. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, but this is fun. You can do so much with this. And it's really not that complicated, I promise. Uh, I mean, I'm sort of handy with redstone, but this was not that bad of a build. It's only taken me about a day to have everything you see here. The worst part would be getting the materials. But uh, thank you, Xbox Nut, for your hard work in, in teaching people through your videos. And I hope everybody has enjoyed showing me showing off my little project. And uh, I guess to end it I'll show you the number eight. Which if you had a bunch more things, it would be like when people write boobs on a calculator. There we go. B for boob. Take it easy guys.